Hello, friends. How are we? Welcome back. Oh, hang on. Just, <laughs> my phone is unlocked and it would start playing. I'm watching Mike's Mike's recap of Glee. Let it be known I was a Mike's Mike stan be like before everyone else was. <laughs> Welcome back to the next episode of Series Wipeout, where this year, many of you know, I'm trying to finish the series. Um, yeah! <laughs> well! I thought it sucked. I thought the song was horrible, and I couldn't believe she thought she was going to get a number one hit out of any of those songs. I feel like the levels are a bit low. Hang on, let's pump it up. You got to pump it up. What you know, pump it up. Also, let it just be known, we're entering, like, our iconic era. Look at the shoes I just bought. Are we crying? I love them. I love them so much. I have decided to, in this episode, read the most popular series on my TBR that I'm currently in the middle of. So like not a series that I haven't started, but we're gonna go on to, hang on, let me start the screen recording. On my Goodreads, I have a shelf called Series to Finish, which is where like all the next books well, now I only put next books in the series that I need to read. So whatever the next book in the series that I need to get to is, that's on that shelf. Now, there are a few first books in series on there. That's what I used to do. But now I only put a book on there if it is the next book I need to read. So we're going to go on this shelf. We're going to sort it by number of ratings. So when I say most popular, don't get confused and think I'm talking about highest rated. We'll probably do that again in the future at some point. But we're talking about the most amount of ratings. Okay, we want the most amount of ratings. And I have no idea what it's going to be. If I had to guess, I would say maybe Robin Hobb, maybe The Raven Boys, maybe... What other popular? Maybe N.K. Jemison? Maybe? I don't really know. So we're going to sort by highest number of ratings. The first few, my guess would be they're going to be like first books in series because they're obviously going to have more people reading them. But we're going to scroll down until we find like the second or third or whatever installment into the series I am in. Probably a second book, logistically speaking. And then we're going to read that series. That makes sense. I feel like I'm in my flop era, actually. Not my iconic era. I feel like I've messed up already. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So we've got A Court of Thorns and Roses, first book, we're not reading that. Cruel Prince, first book, not reading that. A Darker Shade of Magic, first book, not reading that. Uprooted. I don't even know if Uprooted is technically part of a series. I put it down as it was, but I don't actually think it is. Okay, not reading that. Death on the Nile, okay, not reading that because I'm reading the Urquiparo books in order and I'm not like gonna read, I'm not gonna finish the whole Urquiparo series. It's not really a series like that. So we're not reading that. Oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> So we're going to be reading The Raven Cycle. We're going to be finishing The Raven Cycle. But look how close it was. Hang on, my mouse is like flop era. Excuse me, do you want to move? That's very rude, isn't it? Look how close it is between The Dream Thieves and Royal Assassin. Like only like 9k ratings. It was close. Also, I should have thought of Daughter of Smoke and Bone series by Lenny Taylor. But anyway, we're going to be finishing The Raven Cycle in this video, which I'm nervous about because I only gave The Raven Boys like three stars. So I am nervous about, yeah, how it's going to go. But that's what I'm glad we're going to read it. I'm glad we're going to finish it. So... Let's get into me reading The Dream Thieves. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, 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 just realized I never gave a synopsis of the Raven Boys, but I figured you would all know anyway. Basically just a group of friends obsessed with these things called ley lines trying to find a dead Welsh king and doing strange magic XOXO. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know Couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home Okay, so since I last saw you I bought some books, which you saw I popped into auto I went in to pick up two books that I had like ordered into store um, And I bought three more <laughs> I'm fashion, I'm style and if they can't keep up, then that's their problem. Listen, you'll see them all in the book haul that's coming soon. And then here's the thing, right? If you watched last week's vlog, you know I was sick all of last week with this like horrible cold that made me dizzy and shit. And it like took me the whole week to get over it, right? Then on Monday, it's now Wednesday. On Monday, I finally felt well enough to go for a run. That was like a big deal. I was like, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. I'm going for a run. So me and Tom go for a run. Right at the end of the run, 
I sprained my ankle. I fall over, sprain my ankle, start crying in the woods. Tom has to like carry me up this hill. Like I'm half limping up, up it, half him carrying me up it. Like a kid walking past says, Oh my God, I think she's broken her foot. Like I just wanted to disintegrate. I actually just wanted to disintegrate. So I feel like the universe is working against me. So the past few days, I'm only halfway through this book. I haven't done much apart from read the past few days, but I'm still only halfway through this book. I feel like it's taken me forever. I've been trying to rest up. My ankle is now very purple but I can walk, kind of, again, <laughs> so at least that's something. Um, anyway, I'm halfway through The Dream Thieves. Like I said, it's taking me a lot longer than it should be. Here's the thing. <laughs> I just don't know if this series is for me. I'm gonna stick it out, I'm gonna read all the books because I wanna just finish the series and get out of the way. But these books kind of feel like nothing happens. They all feel like prequels for the next thing or like it's just a lot of nothing. And whenever I start to get excited for the plot, like I start to really get into what's happening, I lose interest again. There's a moment, like there's keeps being moments where I'm like, oh, it's gonna get good now. Oh, I'm getting into it. And then I lose my interest like instantaneously. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> feel a bit down actually. I'm enjoying the audiobook. A lot of people said they didn't like the audiobook but I'm actually quite enjoying the audiobook and the audiobook narrator and like the accents he does. I think he does a good job. I just yeah I don't feel it feels like older fantasy where not as much happened. I'm very much a plot girl and I feel like modern stuff is like a detailed plot, a clever plot, but I feel like this is just a lot of sitting around and I don't understand. Also, I, d I never feel like I believe in the characters, right? I never feel like I believe the characters are real in the sense that I, I always feel a, a step removed from them. Like when I'm reading a book, I wanna be like, I wanna know the characters so well, especially by the time I'm reading a second book in the series, I feel like I should feel familiar with them. And they just, they constantly feel like strangers I'm meeting for the first time. Does that make sense? I don't know. I really like Maggie Steve Waters writing. I think it's very imaginative. I think it's very different. I think it's like my kind of thing that I always say I like, but, Something about the characters, like Ronan and Gansey. Adam's kind of anonymous in this book. Bl Bl Blue is probably my favorite. But like, I feel like I don't know them. I feel like they're, I don't, in a book, I know books are fictional, but I wanna feel like that's a real person. Oh my God, the lighting. And I just don't, like I just, I don't buy into it. I can't vibe with it. So I'm really, I have to finish this today. I've been reading it for long enough, which is like three days, but considering I have been nothing, doing nothing else <laughs> since Monday afternoon, like, I don't have an excuse. I have reading experience with my patrons tonight, so like hopefully I can make a good progress through it then. Uh, yeah, enjoying the audiobook, but like all of these books just feel like this series could have been a duology instead of a four book series. They all feel like half a book to me. Oh my God, I feel like I'm being so harsh. <laughs> oh, the lighting! <laughs> I like the audiobook, Kayla. I know it's got a bad rep. I quite like it. That's like the one thing I like. <laughs> No, there's more things that I like. I like it. Why does everyone hate it? I quite like the accents he does sometimes. Some of them are a bit like... <laughs> Why is the audiobook bad? Should I stop? Should I stop audiobook? I could not listen to the audiobook for the live and see if I feel differently. Okay. Yeah, okay. I could see that, actually. I'm gonna... Do you know what? I'm gonna take you up on it and I'm gonna not listen to the audiobook. But I didn't listen to the audiobook at all for the Raven Boys. So I thought I'd try and switch it up. But I can see you're probably right. It's probably a book you should read with your own brain. So yeah, okay, let's do that. I'm gonna just read it physically. I actually can't remember the last time I spoke to you about this book. Like, <laughs> it feels like it's been forever. I feel like I read this book forever. It was it's been 84 years. It was like probably like five or six days, but it's not that long a book. I, like, I don't know how it took me that long, but I finished The Dream Thieves and I'm gonna give it 3.5. But I'm still holding out hope that the rest of the series is gonna improve for me. I have great feelings about the next one that we're about to start, Blue Lily Lily, Lily Blue. For some reason, I feel like it's about blue. I'm just ready for it to focus on blue. I didn't feel like Ronan was really my vibe in this. And Kayla, <laughs> I was talking on my Patreon live stream and Kayla was there and I just felt so bad. Um, but Kayla told me off for listening to the audiobook, right? Which I had been listening to it predominantly. And I know the audiobook gets a bad rep, but for me it had been what was like getting me through the book. But I do think, right, often in this book, I just felt like I was missing information. I felt like a paragraph was missed out every other couple pages and I was just missing out on key parts of information about the book. My brain was just like, um, 
Anyways, so... <laughs> so I would often just get really confused and be able to follow it, but I feel like the audiobook helped me with that. However, the moments of, like, brilliant writing in this, of Maggie Seafoot's writing that is just, like... The flavours on my tongue. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so good. Don't read as well via the audiobook. They read like magic when you're reading it yourself. So that's the trade-off. It swings and roundabouts. I'm gonna try and start this off not listening to the audiobook and see if perhaps by doing that I'm like into the book from the beginning. I just feel like not a lot happened. I don't know. I feel like I, again, my main critique is I feel like I don't get these characters like they don't feel like real characters to me. Like I should know them so well. But they're like rough ideas to me they're not like real characters but i do love the writing and I, I there's moments i kept having so many moments in this book where i was like right this is it this is it i'm into it i'm into it and then like two pages later i wouldn't be interested again because all they're gonna do is disappoint me but that was like a constant cycle i kept going through so to tell you the truth i don't know <laughs> 3.5 because there were elements of it I did really enjoy there were points where I was like this could be a four if this really turns around this could be a four and like the way that Megacy Fraught writes there's like a lot of like like <laughs> hidden meanings behind stuff and you're supposed to just like understand what she's saying and I just don't I don't think me and Maggie are on the same wavelength the whole time I'm reading this I'm like this should be something I love it should be it should be something I love do you know what I mean it should be like me and it like you know, but it's not. We're gonna start Lily Lee Blue. I'm excited to finish this series. Let's just say that. I am excited for this series to not be on my TBR anymore. <laughs> I don't even wanna talk about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> it's taken me like a week and a half to get up to the halfway point in Blue Lily Lily, like read Dream Thieves and read Blue Lily Lily Blue. And like, I'm not about to let the second half of this vlog take a week and a half. It's just not happening. <laughs> so I read the first 130-ish pages of this just physically and then I went back to listen to the audiobook and I don't care what everyone says, I think I prefer the audiobook. <laughs> I think it helps me retain some of the information about the book a bit better, like figure out, I don't know why, something about this book and my brain just don't connect it's not like it's the most complex book in the world like it's not like an adult high fantasy but like something about it i'm just like not a hundred percent vibing with and it's a really weird reading experience because i'm looking at like objectively i can see they're good books and they're like imaginative and they're bringing something different but like <laughs> something about the writing or just the characters just isn't working for me. I think I often like in my series for there to be, there either to be changes in locations in the books or for there to be a kind of a growth of the world or like a growth of the, like a marked growth in each book of the responsibility or power. And although we're getting new elements, I feel like that hasn't been really happening. I feel like the book, the series has kind of been one level in terms of its expanse, in terms of its goal. I feel like the whole goal of the series is the same. Do you know what I mean? It hasn't really changed. Sorry, my chair is squeaking. So I just end up feeling like, like what is the fucking point? Like, I feel like this could have been a duology or like, I don't know, I want different goals, I think, in each book and each series, not the same one throughout. And so I think that is perhaps why I'm just not vibing with it. Like, I'm not reading it quickly because I don't have a great desire to pick these up. I just don't, I just don't have a great desire to pick it up. And I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> At least say it like you mean it. I'm gonna go try and finish it and hopefully I'll have more to say to you, but the series and me just aren't vibing. Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening. I haven't left my room, but the truth is. Blue, I only took me like 10 years. <laughs> but I 
barely finished it. And I'm giving it four stars. This is my favorite in the series so far. Hey. <laughs> Success. I just feel like something really clicked for me, finally. Like, I finally get the characters. I fi Like, it only took me, like, three books. <laughs> only took me ages. But I feel like I finally, you know, got to know the characters, especially uh adam and blue i would say are probably my favorites but especially blue i really love blue there's not enough noah though justice for noah <laughs> but yeah i feel like i've finally like broken a wall with these characters because i was so struggling to know them and to connect with them i still don't think i'm as connected to them as like a lot of other people are but i feel like i'm finally like on the same wavelength it only took me three books but i really loved like the new characters that were introduced in this one we have a lot of new characters and i feel like stuff finally happens i was reading through some reviews because i go on my reviews and everyone's given this five stars we'll get into that we'll get into that some people are saying oh not as much happened but i feel like more important stuff happened happened in this my problem with the series and this this problem still stands is I feel like it didn't need to be four books because I don't think enough important stuff happens to like justify it number one please judge me number two please hate me because number three I love it and I read, I would say, pretty much the last half all last night, like, in one go. And I just was really into it. And I, I finally get it. I feel like I've been, like, talking quite negatively <laughs> about this. And it's not about the books itself. It's, A, my disappointment that it's not a five star. Because I can feel innately that I should love this like this kind of magic this kind of like whimsy strange magic is like my favorite thing so it's partly that and partly that I have been struggling to to like read it like to to find the motivation to pick it up and to actually read it so that's been frustrating me and like the amount of time that I've been doing this vlog and how like I feel shit about the vlog because I feel like the vlog's been all over the place and I haven't done anything and I haven't like filmed stuff hasn't been interesting <laughs> so that's partly I think coloring my attitude towards the book which I'm trying to unpack but I really I really really liked this one I feel like I finally got into it I do just want to say I can't really understand why these books are so popular I don't mean that in like a bad way that's not a dig but this feels like niche this doesn't feel to me when I'm reading it like something that everyone's gonna love. Like it feels like kind of like weird, like underground, like weird fiction. I wouldn't expect this to be as mainstream and as popular as it is, but so many of my friends have read it and they've like all fucking given it like five stars. Like, I don't know, I don't get it. And the fact that this is like the most popular series, like continuation of a series on my TBR, it's just like crazy to me. Like. I kind of can't get its popularness from that, not because it's bad, but because I would expect this to be a niche market. You get what I mean? But yeah, more Noah is needed. <laughs> I love the family. I, lo I love Persephone. I love, oh, I love all of Blue's family because like YA, especially YA of this period, uh, had a tendency to like, you know, families are relevant. Families are dead. Death to all of them. Oh, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the boys, their families aren't really part of the story, but I love, the family element. I think I like this book so much because it focused on Blue a lot more and her family setting and that is just my favourite, one of my favourite parts of the story. Oh by the way, I've I've transitioned back into reading it with the audiobook and the physical. I know a lot of people don't like the audiobook but I actually think it's working really well for me. Um, so I read them together and there's certain lines you get and they're like a one in a million line but then I feel my connection to the book kind of like go. It's a very strange reading experience that I can't really explain but um, yeah I really really enjoyed this one. Four stars I feel like we picked it up a bit. I'm feeling a bit more positive. So now we're gonna get into the last one, which I feel like sometimes gets a bad rep, The Raven King, but I'm really excited to read it. Now I need to try and read the whole thing today because I want this video to go up tomorrow and I need like tomorrow to edit it. So we're gonna try really hard to read this whole book today. I feel like I can do it. I've done this in the past, so pray for me <laughs> that I'm gonna manage it. I'm gonna go out for a walk now and listen to the audiobook and I'll check in with you probably when I'm halfway through this one as well. I was lost in the woods, on the dust, and the fairies found me. And they led the way, they cleared the way to my heart. So I'm halfway through The Raven King and 
I feel like this last book is pretty difficult to talk about. A, because we're like deep into me trying not to give spoilers territory now. And B, because I I have just felt like two steps behind this book, the the series, this entire time when reading it. Like I felt like I've been trying to unpack the weird reaction I've had to the writing and the story and why I haven't been 100% vibing with it. And like I've been struggling to understand things that like it's difficult for me to draw any conclusions. I'm just like... <laughs> But I know I am enjoying it and I think it is setting up the ending quite well. Like finally, finally we're getting fucking somewhere. I think that is a problem how there's kind of one purpose, one aim throughout the entire series and I would have liked, you know, a little bit more. I think having the last log being the Jade Greenbone Saga, Jade City, Jade War, Jade Legacy vlog, where it's so fucking complex. Then I read this and it's like, give me something. I need more. I need more plot. I need more characters. I need more depth. Like, I feel like that is now the standard. I'm like looking at what other series I got to read. I'm like, huh. <laughs> Have I ruined every other series myself after reading the Greenbone Saga? Possibly. Yes. This yes. is a concern and a worry. <laughs> I will say. I will say there is a relationship developing for one or two or three or four. No. A relationship developing for some characters that I am like 100% on board with. I hope it happens because like it would be perfect. I'm really, really hoping it happens. And I will say there has been quite a few good twists so far. Like there's been a few twists where you're like, we all gag nation on this. Okay, so we all gag nation on this. My problem with it but the whole series is like something momentous is revealed and then it's kind of like forgotten about. Like it's kind of like, okay, you found that out. Let's just forget about it now for like 150 pages. Because when was this revealed? Okay, 50 pages ago, this big thing that I really liked, this big reveal I really liked was revealed. But then it had like n almost no bearing in reality. Like I th this was, thought this was going to shift the entire book and it, it didn't. Like it didn't really change anything. And like we just forgot about it. And so... That is not how I like my stories to be told. I don't know. There's something, there is something, as much as I'm enjoying it and appreciating these books, there is something about it and my brain that don't mesh, that just don't go together and don't want to go together. And I'm like, eh, 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 eh. like, we're not going to vibe. So I don't know. It's difficult. It's difficult. But I am enjoying it. And not enjoying it as much as Blue Lily Blue, Blue. It might be another, like, at the moment, it's like another 3.5. But um, yeah, it's like half six at the moment. So I think I am going to be able to finish this tonight. I think I am just going to be able to like speed through this last book in the series and just like <laughs> finish the series. And the first two books took me like forever to read. So anyway, I'm going to go have dinner. I've got paella. And then I will check in with you probably in the morning once I have finished the book. The ending it didn't do it for me, loves. It really didn't do it for me. It didn't, it didn't deliver. It did not deliver. <laughs> I was angry. I was angry. Fuck off. Okay, no. <laughs> Maggie you see water. You expect me to believe. Hang on, I haven't even focused the camera. Let's let's do that, shall we? Hi. You expect me to be happy with this? Like I have read these three books right here for that ending. Are you are you kidding me? Uh, fraudulent. Fraudulent. Okay, now I want to clarify. I like the aftermath of the book, the ending, but like the denouement, that, that's what we've been waiting for, that's what we've wanted all along. <sighs> Outrageous, frankly. Outrageous. Out. <laughs> I've decided, by the way, I've amended my rating. I'm giving the Dream Thieves three stars. I look back on books I've given three stars and I feel like I felt similarly about it. So Dream Thieves three stars, Blue Lily Lily Blue, Blue, which I say really badly, four stars. This was a 3.5. There was a lot I really enjoyed about it. I was finally vibing with the characters, like we were finally getting along. But that ending, I'm like falling over. I am furious. I literally just finished it. Like, <laughs> what was the point in me reading this whole book? This whole series. What was the point in me reading this whole series? I can't even talk about it because it will spoil it. But what was the point? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand why this is the most popular like series out there. I don't understand why everyone loves it so much. I don't get it. I don't get it. And the thing is, some of you Raven cycle girlies in the chat are going to be like, bitch, you just don't understand it. You don't get it. And you're right. I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's not for me, Mark. I don't get the mass hype 
and love for it. I'm not saying people shouldn't love it. Like, I understand why individual people love it. I can totally get that. I can totally get that. But I can't get why everyone does. Do you get what I'm saying? They're different things. I think in terms of the writing, the characters, the plot, I was, well, no, not quite the characters, because I feel like we were missing some of the characters that we grew to love in Blue Lily Lily Blue, and I feel like we had, like, a few added to this book out of nowhere that didn't make as much sense. But on the whole, I loved as much as Blue Lily Lily Blue. I feel like this is still a pretty strong book, but the ending has infuriated me to no end. I'm actually furious. And I feel like the villain, like, the enemy, the, like, malevolent force in this book, shall we say, was not as good. It was pretty weak. It was pretty, like... It just felt like the series didn't go in the direction that I wanted it to, or expected it to, or that it should have done. How's that? How's that, everyone? How do we feel? How do we feel? <laughs> Listen, I'm free. I'm free from this series. Not, I didn't dislike it, but, like, I also think my reading of the Greenbone Saga, like, in one go, really enhanced my reading experience. I think perhaps in this case it took away, because this is a lot. Like, Maggie Stewart's writing is a lot. It's it's a lot to the read in one go. And so I feel like I've gone kind of crazy. I feel like my brain is not... She's not thriving right now. Like, thing, thoughts are strange. Thoughts are, like, kind of starting to become, like, the characters. And I don't want to think like them. Like, I'm not vibing. So I'm free. I can finally read other stuff. This vlog is finished. I'm about to go finish editing it, dust my hands of it, and we will never think of it again. <laughs> But I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I feel like it's been shit. Like, I, I sprained my ankle. Bad vibes have been all around. I went to good vibes now, and I just want to leave. This is the last of the bad vibes. And so I did, it, I enjoyed it. So, like, I'm, I'm going to go. But it was just disappointing. And it was hard to read all of these books knowing I should have loved them so much more. But anyways, if you got into the end, comment a bird emoji. Any kind of bird emoji will do if you got into the end. Uh, let me know what you thought of The Raven Cycle, if you finished it or if you've read like one or two, what you thought of them. I would love to know kind of what your thoughts are considering you watch me. I'm, I'm intrigued to see whether we have similar opinions. So let me know that down below and I'll see you very soon. Bye!